So let's talk about real life. What happens in real life? Well, right now, unfortunately, a lot of people are getting downsized. They're getting laid off. They're getting fired. Now, for me, the first job I had out of college, I got fired after nine months. And rightfully so, I was a little bit, you know, I, I thought I could do it all and I hated being told what to do. And sure enough, my boss wanted me to do what she told me to do. So I got fired. But in retrospect, at the time when I got, just like you get downsized in the game, when I got fired, I was mad. I was blaming her. I was blaming everybody. Life's not fair. But when I look back at that time, holy mackerel, that was the best thing that could have happened to me. That was the greatest opportunity because it got me thinking differently about the mantra of just go to school, get a job, work, 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 work your way up, get a pay raise. That's what was programmed into my mind. So as soon as that like break came, that cut, it forced me to go, hey, wait, wait, maybe there's another way to do this. Maybe this is not the road I'm supposed to go down. And sure enough, I, that was incident. That was the moment I started thinking, I really maybe need to look at having my own business. Maybe because I really do hate being told what to do and I'm not a very good employee, I need to do something differently. So for me, what I did, the first thing I did is I actually went into network marketing. I found this the woman approached me who was with a network marketing company and it was a skincare company and I joined the company and what it did for me, I didn't join it just because I needed money even though I did, but I also joined it because it was a great stepping stone for me for my future businesses because this network marketing company taught me about selling, taught me about money, taught me about rejection, taught me about running my own business. So my one year in network marketing in real life business actually taught me more than I learned in four years of business college, of business university because I was hands-on, it was real life. I knew if I didn't sell, I didn't eat. It was doing the real thing. So the cash flow game, we did our very, very best to make it as close to real life as possible. And all of those different spaces on the board, on the rat race and on the fast track are actually things that Robert and I experienced. Most of the spaces in the rat race and on the fast track are actually things that Robert and I experienced. It was actually things that we did or mistakes that we made. So playing the cash flow game again and again is the closest thing to real life. And it's why we use paper money so that you can make mistakes with fake money, not real money. But then take that experience, take that close to the real thing experience and go out in the real world and actually put it into practice. So again, you're talking about downsize. Everybody hates to get downsized. But maybe in the game and maybe in real life, things like that can be your greatest opportunity. You've just got to be aware and pay attention. So enjoy cash flow, play it as much as possible because the more you play it, the more you learn and the greater your financial IQ. Following to what Kim was saying, the loss of a job can serve as a wake up call to tap into your entrepreneurial spirit. Traditional employment often imposes limitations on creativity and innovation, confining individuals to predefined roles and responsibilities. However, job loss presents an opportunity to break free from those constraints and create your own path to financial independence. Entrepreneurship allows individuals to leverage their unique skills, talents, and passions while affording them the freedom and flexibility that traditional employment often lacks. Embracing the challenge of unemployment can ignite resourcefulness and problem-solving abilities, enabling you to think outside the box and explore new avenues. Through this process, you can cultivate an entrepreneurial mindset, learn valuable lessons in resilience, adaptability, and take control of your destiny. This period of transition can be an opportunity to educate yourself about personal finance, investments, and wealth-building strategies personal and professional growth. Losing your job provides an opportunity for personal and professional development. Additional jobs often keep us in a comfortable routine, preventing us from fully exploring our potential. However, job loss opens doors for reinvention, skill acquisition, and pursuing neglected interests. 
During this transitional period, you can educate yourself about personal finance, investments, and wealth-building strategies. By diversifying your income through investments, real estate, or starting your own business, you create a stronger financial foundation. Losing your job may be tough, but as Kim Kiyosaki suggests, it can also be an opportunity for growth and new beginnings. Embracing entrepreneurship, investing in personal and professional development, and striving for financial independence are the positive outcomes that can arise from job loss. Approach this transformative phase with determination, resilience, and a mindset focused on growth, and you'll discover the potential within you to create a brighter future filled with success and fulfillment. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button, and don't forget subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Thanks for watching.